Hello everyone, how's it going? Today I wanted to share with you two uh, spots at the new map, the Rebevisi Pond in Czech Republic. Um, the first spot is an interesting spot, the second spot is a potential active spot. Uh, the first spot I wanted to share with you was for this Wells Catfish 17.558 KT, which is just under the weekly of 17.630 kg uh, i fished for catfish all the way here on the left side so if you rent the boat and go to the left side anywhere in this deep hole is uh is where i was throwing a bunch of giblets so you can see a bunch of giblets is what's getting them as well as frog so check your weeklies and make sure that you're using those baits now, I only spent 10 minutes here at night, and I ended up getting one fat Wells catfish. So you want to spend more time and try it out. Maybe in the next episode, I might just farm these guys and see if it works. Um, the next spot is the silver carp spot. I'm finally, finally getting carps. I've only got two so far because I just found the spot by myself. Yay! And... Um, I already got two fat ones. So let me run over and show you where the spot is. I'm not using a clip. I'm using the map. As I will show you. Look how beautiful this is. Man, it's so lush. I love it. The water is a little too dark for my taste. It might look realistic, but I just don't like it. I don't like the water. It's too dark. So this is where I am for the silver carps. 4872. Yeah, 4872 at uh, this pier thing right by the bridge. I am throwing in this deep hole. Okay, so uh, let me pick this up and show you guys. I'm not using a clip. I've never used clips in this game unless someone suggested it to me. And I'm just throwing right there. That is the maximum I will throw it. Sometimes I'll throw it right before the lily pads begin in that duckweed area, the green specs that you see so very close by i'm throwing it and i've got two quick large silver carps um as you can see i'm using live shiner baits uh, a shiner live bait and techno plants once again check your weeklies uh look at this yesterday all different baits and today it's already changed to shiner Techno plants seems to be the go-to right now because I see two of them. Chocolate I saw yesterday as well. Raspberry I don't think I saw. Shiner I haven't seen. Uh, so that is what I'm going for right now at 4872. Uh, let's continue fishing and see how it goes. What else do I catch? I also got a regular car but I ended up selling it because I need space in my bag. Like, subscribe, comment below. I will show you all of these catches coming up right after this. There we go. We got something. Uh, this is on Giblet, so this has to be a Wells catfish. I take a guess here. Nothing big, but I'm happy we got something here. Where are you? Oh yeah, look at that beauty. 17.558 kg wells catfish. Heck yeah. Look at this on live shiner. I just threw it and boom. This is our biggest fish yet, I would say. Bigger than the 17 kg Wells catfish I got. Ooh, is that a silver perhaps? What is that? Ooh, I'm interested. Silver Carpo. What is that? That is a silver, isn't it? It kind of looks like a big head.
That is a silver. Yes. 11.7 kg large silver carp white. Yes. Finally. Yes. Oh. So Shiner life bait at 48.72. Throwing it very close by here in this deeper hole. And I'm hoping uh, this is this is a deal here. I'm going to keep fishing here and see how it goes. Okay, so this is probably a silver carp as well on my 18 kg setup. And uh, yeah, the trick is to cast close by. Don't cast all the way um, at the end of those lily pads. I throw them close by because right here is the deeper side. And uh, as my hunch was correct, uh, in the deeper side is where I'm going to get these silvers. Because I have fished down there, I've cast it far, and I got nothing. 11.9 kg silver. Damn. They're here again, this deeper water part. Uh, the third one. There we go. My bag is already full. Oh man, that is a common carp. Ew. I mean, not a common, it's just a regular carp. But, uh... So... Three meters, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so I've got uh, large silver carps on live shiner. And techno plants. Techno plants. So far. Uh, the rest of the fish I am going to sell and I will be right back. I just recast it and uh, boom, I got it. Guys, 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 one more thing. Uh, ground bait you should use. Large 12.568. Wow. I'm using grass, silver carp, the default ground bait that comes uh, like this. So use grass, silver carp if you haven't already. Um, that's what I'm using, and look how close I'm casting. Nice. There we go, three back to back. Uh, I don't know, it's been three minutes maybe that I got these three. Maybe even five minutes at the very most. So, not the fastest bite rate, but honestly, if all of these are double digits, I have no complaints. No complaints at all. Here's another one. I hope so, at least. <laughs> Anything big that pushes our 43 kg setups have to be silvers. Oh, that is not a silver. That is a mirror. Okay. Large mirror carp, 10.5 kg. <clears throat> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to experiment. Uh, this grass silver carp, I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to use uh, the anise and molasses one. Even though we're not using the anise. Uh, trample, whatever these things are. Technoplanktons. And I'm going to see if that changes anything. I don't think it's going to change anything. Because the ground bait does not complement the bait. The boily or whatever it is. Uh, so not sure if it's going to work. It's not like this grass silver carp with dill and algae is going to attract silver carps because I'm not using dill or algae flavored baits or boilies. That's my understanding of it. So let's see what happens. All right, we got something big here. Taking out line like it's my 18 kg setup. Damn, we just got to use our pump technique here to tire it out and uh, see what it is. I really hope the silver, if it is, is uh, 20 kg at least. I have a feeling it's going to be 15 kg though. What's the biggest one we have? 12.558 kg. So uh, our ground bait did in fact work by the looks of it. Slow bite rate guys. So this is more of an alt tab bot. 
while waiting you all tab out you check out uh what's happening on your youtube channel you know what uh what people are doing any complaints anyone crying or people thanking and <laughs> whatnot check in the news someone's invading someone the world's on edge already with the virus oh this never ends wow this is bigger than 11 kt it has to be bigger than 11 kg. My 11 kg did fight a bit, but not this much. I'm not going to run just yet. Uh, we have over half a spool. When it gets below half spool, that's when I'll decide to start walking towards it. But for now, I'm just going to keep fighting it. Um, the other good thing about this pawn is if you have high, high level gear, um, you don't really have to worry too much about getting spooled because this lake isn't really that big. Uh, because higher level gear also have bigger spools. Uh, so not only do you have more power, but you have more line. Whereas the lower level gear doesn't even have, is obviously weak. But also holds less line, which is kind of crappy because you can never win. Better the gear is, it's exponentially better. Wow, I really hope this is a trophy now. Are we going to go through this tree? Oh, yes, we are. Wow, uh, first fish on this map that's about to spool me. And I actually had to walk. That is insane. And this is also a 40 kg setup, if I remember. It's not like this is our 18 kg setup. Just don't want to fall. Want to just don't want to fall in the water and get reset. That would suck. And my bag is almost half full already because we're only catching <laughs> double-digit fish. Which is great. Um, I don't mind if the spot is a little slow. I mean, it's not that slow. It's a little slow. But I will absolutely take a little bit of snow slowness for just double digit fish. Quality, quality fish. And even if we only catch 10 fish before the bag fills up, we are still going to make money. Let's see here. Okay, is it tired? Is it tired? Wow, okay, that's a good fight. I haven't fought anything big in this game in a very long time. The last thing I went for that was really big was the Sturgeons. Um, and I just haven't gone after Sturgeons in forever because I just don't want to anymore. Uh, they are good money the bigger they are. Uh, it's just I don't know if I'm up for longer fights anymore. Not to mention you need muscle and muscle pieces. Which are hard to get. So like the last time I streamed this game... I was also going for Sturgeons because that's just a fun fight for streaming. And uh, I think I just broke even because I was buying these expensive bunch of uh, muscles from the marketplace. And the money the Sturge were making were me were just uh, almost, almost uh, breaking even. So since then, I just haven't gone after Sturge. Now, from the last time I've streamed or made a video on Sturgeons, they have been nerfed. Um, which is really good because they were just stupid overpowered. The Huso, the Beluga, was way too powerful. It took me an hour just to bring in like a 50 to 60 kg one on the 40 kg setup. But now I believe it's supposed to take much less because uh, there's stamina, there's pump rod, even though pump rod technique was newly introduced at that time. And I, feel, I think some uh, something else changed too recently. I just can't remember. Alright guys, this 
This is a trophy. It has to be. Look how long I've been fighting this guy for. I don't know what their trophy size is. 30 kg, 20 kg, 25 kg. Silver Carpos. Uh, I think in RF4 it's 30 kg. The black, uh, the big head and the silver carp are both, if I remember correctly, 30 kg. So if that's the same in this game, not only will I be at the top of weeklies because the biggest one is only like, what, 26 kg? <laughs> but I'm going to be the first one to get a trophy on this map. Uh, so I think the trophy size should be 20 to 25 kg. Damn, this, this carp is fighting. That's good. I'm really happy. The longer the fight goes, the bigger the fish is. And I always, always get happy the longer a fight is, whether it is in RF4 in this game. And uh, yeah, just these two games. <laughs> now, other games like Fishing Planet uh, has no fish fighting mechanism. It's just bigger the fish is, it'll calculate or whatever how big your rod setup is and uh, calculate. Oh, it's going to take you three minutes. Or if it's a smaller fish, it's going to take you 30 seconds. So there's nothing you can do in Fishing Planet that will reduce the time. Whatever time it's supposed to come in, it'll come in. And that kind of defeats the purpose of a fishing game. Um, so the fish fighting mechanism in this game is good too. Fish have Stamina, this pump rod technique actually does something. Standing and fighting a fish makes a huge difference. Uh, it's 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 good, but it could be better. Uh, like, hello, let's uh, let's look at RF4. RF4 is amazing. It's the best fighting mechanism ever. And I just wish more games, more fishing games, would implement these these fish fighting mechanisms. But I feel like. Majority of the fishing games are just terrible because they're made by either one person or by like a cheap studio. And the second thing is the fish finding mechanism is complicated. My assumption is, which is why majority of the games don't have that. And third thing is maybe majority of the people don't want something as complicated as this. They just want to pick up a rod with a line and reel on it. They just want to throw it in the water and they just want to fight a fish without worrying about resistance or break and your real overheating and and like you know your leader and line size should be like this and reel and rod size or kg should be certain thing people i guess it's just too too complicated for people you know they're just filthy casuals <laughs> to say the least uh which is why maybe majority of the games are uh, not like r4 and fisher sure online maybe Fishing Planet is what people want. Look at uh, Bass Pro Shops, the Dovetail Garbage Games. People love that stuff. Even though it blows my mind how terrible those games are. I'm still playing the latest title and fish swim vertically and horizontally. And that game, the game I'm talking about, has been out for a few months now. And it just boggles my mind. I get ghost snags out of nowhere. Uh, you can see when you're retrieving your your lure. It just gets stuck in midwater and all of a sudden it's like, oh, you snagged. It's just next level. And there's nothing you can do to... Uh, like there is a resistance bar, like numbers, but they do absolutely nothing in a fish fight. It just... Uh, raging honestly but they do have the fish models right and i absolutely love the fish models i love when you catch a fish your character holds the fish i just wish you could zoom in more and check out the fish in more detail uh so i think uh rf4 and fisher online these they both need this our character has hands our character has a body uh, all we need to do is work more on the fish models. And you know what? There is one game that has all of these things that's in a development. And uh, I can't remember the name of that game. I played the demo. I streamed it. 
Ultimate Fishing 2, I believe is the name. Now, people have said don't, don't have high hopes for that game because that developer is known for different things. But I am just being positive here. It looks pretty. You hold the fish when you catch it. Nice fish models. There is fish finding mechanism. So, oh my god. That has to be a trophy mirror carp. That just has to be a trophy mirror carp. You see how long that fight was? There we go. 27.873 kg trophy mirror carp. Damn. That is amazing. <laughs> Damn, I thought that was a silver carp. Nothing can get that big. Where are we? 40 kg, 31 kg. Holy cow, I'm in the weeklies with Techno Plants. Ah! So carp honey and techno plants. Uh, so okay, guys. At this spot, as you can see, the techno plants will get you silver carps and mirror carps. And there we go, trophy mirror carp. I'm so happy. We finally got our first trophy on this map. We finally did. Now let's see what this guy has. Oh boy. Oh boy. I come here and fish are like, oh, go, 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 you know. <laughs> Bite that hook. That's a pike. Uh, I guess it's to be expected on Shiner. 7kg pike. Oh my god, our net is almost full. I don't like it when I get fish on our 18kg setup because it's obviously an 18kg setup. Oh boy. That is a irregular carp. Gonna reel it in as much as I can. 9.9 kg regular carp. Oh no, I froze. Oh, damn it. I'll recast it again. I want to change it up. So Shiner is fine. One techno plant is fine. On my first one, I want to change it from techno plants to... The chocolate. The Stecto Plants gets us silvers and mirrors. Maybe chocolate gets us red koi carps and silver carps. That's what I want to see. I'm going to fish for a little bit more till we fill up our bag and then we will go ahead and sell all these fish. Let's see what this is. <coughs> oh. Ooh. That's a nice surprise. A channel catfish 5.2 kg. Look at that. On Shiner. Um, I know last segment I was fishing during a night. But then I had to go for lunch. And uh, as I am back, it is late afternoon. So we will continue fishing until our net is full. Okay, so the spot I was at at the pier right over there. It died out. Um, after logging in, I just caught one fish maybe, and that's it. Which is why, again, it's a potential active spot. I don't know. Um, and for some reason, people just don't want to share anything in game either. So I came back to our trusty spot, the 6375 spot. And on my 18 kg on the Techno Plants. I have a fish. I don't know what this is. Uh, I've never caught silver carp anywhere else on this map. Except for that spot by the bridge. So. I, uh, is this. Oh yeah, that's a mirror right there. It's not a silver. I don't know how people consistently get silver carps. If you do know, let me know. 10 kg. This is my 18 kg rod, so I can't even throw it far. 34 meters. Oh, yeah, because my feed disappeared. 22. There we go. All right. 22 meter clip at the spot. Uh, this is probably going to be a mirror as well. 
the techno plant. Looks like a tiny little mirror here. Yikes. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to fill up my net and we will go ahead and sell and see how much we made. Oh, we got something here. So guys, I changed the spots again. Uh, I asked in the chat what luck people were getting. They said, you know, one person said they were trolling with the walker. I've done that. I've only got small pikes and no silver carps because that is one way to catch silver carps. Uh, 6kg grass pike. Nice. Um, and then someone said, come to this spot, use live shiners, and you should be able to get silver carps that he got at A10. Remember, guys, this is the exact same spot I got this big fat Wells catfish on giblets. Uh, so I am back at the spot trying a live shiner. Got something small here again. Is this going to be a pike or is this... A carp because I don't know if I can <laughs> keep any more fish. 2 kg grass pike. How much? Oh, uh, we still have 9 kg. Ooh. I put frog. Because on the weeklies it's frog. A bunch of giblets. So this one has frog. This one has our uh, live shiner. So let's see here. Do we have a fish on? Yeah, we do. Uh, it's a small one, but I will take it. And I think this is going to be our last fish of the day. No silver carps yet, but... Um, I'm just going to have to spend more time here. Six kg wells, cats... Not too big, but uh, interesting spot this. I'm going to spend more time here. I want to go for one rod, have it for Wells Catfish. The other rod, have it for the Lick Sturgeon. So maybe next episode I can try that. Silver Carp, unfortunately, still hit and miss. I thought I found a spot right by the bridge here. Uh, but when I logged in, uh, I didn't get anything. So maybe the spot was just quiet at the time and maybe it'll work for you. Or it won't. I just don't know. I gotta spend more time. But I've already spent enough time today. Trying to find spots. It's been 2-3 hours now. Uh, before I even started recording this video. I had so many more fish. And uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and sell these bad boys here. Uh, 882 silver. No matter what happens. Always making that much hair. Which is pretty darn good. Uh, 291 silver for the trophy com uh, carp mirror. Oh my god, this name throws me off. Mirror carp. Uh, look at these silvers though. Damn. 80 silver, 76, 74 silver for 11, 11, and 12 kg. Large mirror carp, 10 kg, 61. See these 10 kg fish? Very good price. 42 silver for this wells. Uh, channel catfish, of always a worthless fish. Uh, se wow, 7.3 kg grass carp. Uh, I believe 8 or 8.2 kg is a trophy grass. So I was, I was somewhat close. Uh, but yeah, another good day. Uh, TLDR, just to summarize, I fished everywhere today. I trolled everywhere today. Uh, trolling, you can get lots of small pikes. Uh, and uh, two or three large pikes too, if you get... Let's say six smaller pikes. Uh, I did go to, I think it's uh, somewhere here. If you go to the bridge, you take a right turn. There's a pier here. And I was throwing right here in the middle to close to the deeper end. I got silver carps here. Uh, then I went to this spot. I didn't get any silver carps, so I ditched that spot. Then I took the boat out to this deep hole here at A10. I uh, did not get any silver carbs, but I have only spent maybe 15, 10 minutes here. 
Uh, I did, however, get another Welts Catfish on Frog. A bunch of Giblets and Frog is what's hot for them right now. If you want, you can try. You can try for Sturgeons here. I feel like there's going to be Sturgeons here as well. But they're extremely rare, so don't hold your breath. Uh, that is going to be it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you know any spots that I don't, please let me know. I'd love to try them out. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until next time, guys, enjoy.